After five days of serious competition, it all, all boils down to this. Our final two gladiators, Jack Whelan against Jason Twist, in what promises to be an absolute classic final. So without further ado, let's get our referee out in the middle, Mel Harley. And our first finalist from Derbyshire, he's just taken the doubles title with his partner Clint. He's looking to add, to make it a double winning weekend, it's Jack Whelan. <laughs> and his opponent from, from Somerset, he's well known to everyone. He's a two-time world champion. It's Jason Twist. Kevin. No one will ever know. <laughs> it's the best of three sets, each set best of nine. First one to two sets takes home the title and the £6,000 first prize. So I'll hand you over to the commentary box now for what promises to be an absolutely classic match. First frame, Jack Whelan to break. Time running. Welcome everyone to the uh, final of the main event here at Magna, the World Singles Championship. Uh, and my name's Kev Barton, and I'm joining the commentary box. Delighted nice. to be joined in the commentary box. Open time. The world famous Craig Lakin. Welcome, Craig. So, um, I presume Jack's a big, close friend of yours. You've come down to support him. Yeah, been here all week with my group together. Good start. Yeah, been here rooming together all week. I mean, Jack's been mighty impressive this week. I mean, he's just taken on the doubles title with Clint. Yeah, he's been very solid. Solid. Still Uh, Jason's been rolling back the years as well. He's been. Uh, he's rediscovered something, certainly. He's, uh, so he's just. We've got our seniors winner against our doubles winner. Yeah, it's good to have Jason back. He's a great player. Not seen him for a long time. So, how do you see the match going? I think it'll be very open attacking. Jason should get these first frame. Yeah, a lot of pressure on both players though. Expect a few mistakes along the way. I don't think so personally. I think it'll be very good standard. Jason first one is world one of his his first world title 20 years ago, 1995, in the days of Embassy. I didn't actually realise he was a world champ. Is there any way I can turn it down? Red Bulls in play. It's like dead light in my ears. Yeah. 
Just got some uh, technical adjustments we're making to the equipment. Due to uh, Craig's sensitive ears. Yeah, it's fine now. 30 seconds. We're all up and running now. What's your prediction then, Kev? Well, I, th I think it's going to be very difficult Top to call. It's been, it's been a long week. So d does the younger man have an edge? But Jason's got the experience. Yeah, definitely. But Jack's used to winning big matches. Um, he would be still on a high from winning the doubles. So Jason's on a high from winning the seniors. I, I just don't know how you call this one. It's a good shot. I think what I will say is whoever wins the first set will win the match. That's my prediction. Yeah, I've thought that all week. But all will be revealed over the next uh, hour and a half or so. Screw this in and play the cannon. Get the bad red at. When does he play this red? I presume it goes past the yellow on this bottom left hand corner. What point does he play that? Nice. No, confusing us both. It's like commentating on Welsh players. You can never predict what they're going to play. <laughs> bit of safety. That's a good shot. So that red obviously doesn't go past the, uh, the yellow. No, I don't think it's skill shots either. Looks like the yellow's on the knuckle. Oh. Total snooker. Have you seen any of the doubles final earlier? Or have you just come down for this? I literally just got here. But it seemed like a good standard. Yeah. yeah it's just great to see these big big lineups. Uh, you know, Scott Gillespie and Pat Holtz. I mean, it's a real powerhouse Scottish team. Uh, you probably couldn't pick two, two better players. Yeah, it was a very good team. Both very good players. <coughs> good escape from Jason. Not quite sure what Jack's got up his sleeve here, but. Uh I think this game will suit Jason more than Jack. Tactical side. <coughs> the red passes the yellow. Good chance of a skill shot. looking at there is he's going to put this red into the bottom right corner and try and stun the white across with a bit of right hand side yeah cushion first that's what he's looked at yeah so the white flicks off the cushion pots the yellow <coughs> then the white will come behind the red and now into seconds. open play needs pinpoint accuracy yep Just like that. <coughs> what a fantastic shot there. It just shows the attacking nature of these rules, doesn't it? That uh, you can't you can't just relax for two minutes. I mean, Jason probably thought he was okay in this frame with, with the yellow uh, covering that bag. but um, Jack pulls out one shot and it's game on. That's right. Oh, he's miscued. 
It's not landed too bad, to be fair. But it's an opportunity gone. Let's Jason back to the table. <coughs> Do you think he can pop the ball in the middle? He's not. I don't even think he's looked at that. He's looking at this yellow on the right hand side. 30 seconds. Yeah, not the greatest of shots from Jason. Is he coming cushion first? Uh -huh. Has he floated it? No. Okay, advantage Jason. Got a fancy to take these out first, first frame. Are you one of those, Craig? One of those players, Craig, that you don't really feel as if you're in the match until you win that first frame. Do you have that sort of mindset? Or? Uh, it's definitely in your head. You want to get off to a good start. <laughs> Scrape the knuckles. Yeah, used all of that bag. But yeah, it's key to get off to a good start, especially in these formats. Are you a fan of the sets format? Personally, I'm myself, yeah. Like, I like it. I think it's ruthless. So everyone's under pressure. But other people like the longer distance. One good positional shot here. And fancy him to get him. Needs to make sure he gets at least level with this yellow. He's gone a little bit far. He might just play for the double. He's running through. Has he got enough pace? Good shot. Oh, that's a good shot, is that? Another inch would have been nice, but he'd be happy with that. Yeah, he's got a shot. Good that's job. all the way. Yeah, right. that's a good start from Jason. So that's going to settle him down no end. Jack will be ruining that miscue. Yeah, be frustrated. Really good chance. <coughs> so just a reminder, Jason beat, he beat Gareth Hibbert in the semi-finals last night the number one pro, number one tour player from last season and then he beat arguably the favourite um, in Clint Hansen in the semis the, in the book they've had um, Gareth Hibbert down his favourite the whole time have they? Okay. yeah who was favourite then at the, at the semi final Joseph stage? In my opinion, it was Jack. I think his break's massive. So strong. It's hard to beat. Yeah. Bad break. Open table. Clint must have fancied his chances though. after doing so well last year. Ran deep again this year. He's knocking on the door every year. He can't be long. He's a very good player. Yeah. <coughs> but the standard's tough. Yeah, the standard's been very good this week. A lot of good players.
very aggressive yeah, shot, but looks alright. Ultra aggressive shot. If the other on the right passes, he's only got to get this one. Really could clip this one into the left corner and uh, develop this yellow on the right hand side now. Yeah, then you got a fancy in getting them. seconds did you plan this yourself Kev uh, I was down to play but um, I've been ill so um, the day I was due to play I was in bed ill so um, it's very unfortunate yeah it was I was I'd have liked to have played but um, yeah no no wasn't in a wasn't in a very good state on Wednesday <laughs> Fortunately, I'd be glad to get back to work for a rest. <laughs> so, what's um, next on your pool calendar then, Craig? Um, I'm playing Dan Davy on the 28th of February. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's five grand each. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Where's that at? At the Cornet Shees Derby. It's a very good venue. Yeah. Yeah, it should be a busy night. Very loud. What's that a race to? First to 21. Yeah, it's getting streamed as well, so yeah, good. Ho hopefully seconds. it'll be good for the viewers. Yeah. Do I expect it'll last long? No, I don't think so. We're both pretty attacking players. Is that your preferred um, type of match as opposed to a tournament, a money match, is that? Definitely, yeah. Uh, like, with these tournaments, like I played it myself, I was here from Wednesday, so you're talking four or five days and it's very hard to like keep composed and mentally strong for that long, whereas a money match, it's just one night, one big match. It's easier, really. Yeah. You had a, a good um, victory at the BAPTO recently, didn't you? Was it the BAPTO or the Golden 8 Ball? Yeah, the uh, BAPTO seconds. Nationals BAPTO. Yeah. in Blackpool, yeah. It's really short format, which I prefer again. But bad shot by Jack. Yeah, came in between them two. And the frame over to Jason. Did that make you a back-to-back -back winner? Yeah, I've won it 2004. Uh, yeah, no, I've got a clue. <laughs> <laughs> I've won it two years running. 13 and 14. Yeah, that'll be the one. <laughs> so you'll be looking for the hat trick then, uh, back end of this year? Um, no, I'm not going to enter it again. I'm not uh, I'm not going to play that much much longer this year. Planning on putting Paul on the back foot. Okay. Jason's got a very good chance now to win this. So you playing something else or just other things that are taking priority yeah other things away from pool yeah. just got to put them first really well hopefully we see you back yeah I'll be back at some point sooner rather than later Jason will be happy that stayed yeah he definitely wanted that to stay up <coughs> just means he can dolly this one in along the rail and uh, then have an easy shot next Ooh. Yeah, I think he... Yeah. Might have got a heavy contact then. Good chance for Jack. If you can park this in the middle and leave the right angle to screw into it. Are you at um, county finals? Shit, at Celsi? No, uh, our side didn't qualify. Right. We had a lot of problems with it this year. Can't get a full side, but it's sort for the best, I think, for the future now. It's looking quite strong. That's good. So there's still a lot of players in the Derby area, and 
yeah, it's loads of players just getting them all together, really. Like, a lot of them don't get on, to be honest, so right. it's, it's hard work. <laughs> yeah, it usually uh, makes it awkward. Even the cross double. It's Mr. Pot. Mr. Pot. A few early nerves, some jack maybe. So a good opportunity for Jason now. I sort of feel this first set is going to be unbelievably important in this match. Both players are going to be quite mentally tired. To go a set down, it could, could be maybe asking a little bit too much. Yeah, to come back and win after being set down, it's very hard. Is he under it, that? It's not reached. Foul. Wow. One free shot, one was it? What an error by Jason. Jack will be happy with that. That's careless. I think he, we'll just leave the yellow for the big bag and bottom. Down the rail. Maybe not. Just going to clear the red just to... Make sure there's no traffic. Good shot. Okay. What do I know? <laughs> Jason's going to be kicking himself now. Great chance of 2 0. Jack's back in it. Yeah, this will be the one that got away. Struck that well. So he's leveling it up in frame all. So yeah, Jason will be thinking, <laughs> thinking about that one. He was obviously just trying to hold that white so he could play the plant to give himself the angle to get on that plant. To get on the red in the middle of the row. Yeah. yeah. But that is a a careless mistake. Time will tell if that uh, will have any bearing on this match. Jack's break next. This break is unbelievable. Yeah, and Jason had won one against the head, as it were. Which, um, you know, like you say, because Jack's break is so big. Yeah. That could have been a massive advantage. Yeah, that's why it's so hard to beat, because... He just breaks so well. He's always getting the ball, always getting the best set. So I hope you're enjoying it, wherever you're viewing it from. Third frame, Jack Whelan to break. One frame all. Time running. If it's the comfort of your living room or the beach, wherever you are watching. See so what I mean? See what I mean about his break? Yeah, it's huge. <laughs> it's outrageous. Horrible to play against at times. Is that just good timing? Does he practice the break? You know, what, what, why is his break so good? It's definitely timing. Like his breaks a lot better than mine, and obviously it's not luck; it's skill. So, does he use a break cue, or is it just his normal cue? No, his normal cue. Do you think he'll top this in and can the black out first shot? That would have looked to be an inviting shot, there, wouldn't it? Yeah. Just float it down. Just down the two reds to the top seconds. left corner. Yeah. Been asked for him to get these and put the pressure back on Jason after the mistake. Yeah. It's just 
just going to glance off. He's, He's got a shot to the middle. Yeah. Screw can back into the black. Yeah, he can use the black as a stopper. Yeah. I think he'll want to go cushion then black though, so you don't pot the black in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. This is quite a thin clip, so it's. Uh, No gimme. Yeah, it looks easier on the camera than what it does here. 30 seconds. I don't think he's on that. I don't think that goes. I mean, he, he almost did what you said and put it the black. Yeah, that's why he should have gone into the cushion first. Black wouldn't have been in the way. He's cutting it back. Right corner. It went. It looked look like a foul. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously not. It's got a very good ref. Mel Ollie. Did it. Mel Ollie. <laughs> yeah, eagle eyes Mel. He'd have spotted if it was a foul. Wheelham fan there. So straight to the corner bag. Good there shot. it goes. Brain. Jack takes the lead, 2 1. Just to uh, rub Jason's nose in it for that mistake. nine frames so first to five and it's best of three sets <coughs> do you think the shot clock is going to play any any part in this match or is that just um I don't think so no <laughs> I think it'd be very attacking so it won't really come into play <laughs> Break for Jason. Jason, twist the break. Trailing two frames to one. Yeah, he needs to make a ball here. Should have been 2 0 up. Now he's 2 1 down. Dry break. And he's going dry. The open door's the open for Jack now. Crowd getting excited. Fancy him to take the reds out here. <coughs> Unless he's on the gap to that yellow. Typical Jack form. <laughs> yeah. Just ask him what time he is on the shot clock. That's a good shot. Clever Clever shot. Play. play the yellow in the corner and flick the other yellow out. Should be frame over. Very big frame misses to get a two gap. On the first to five. Thirty seconds. That's not a good shot. 
played for the yellow on the right there. all of that bag. Pretty much perfect. Can play either ball. I think I might be tempted to play the one on the right if I was on it. With a bit of left hand side, back yeah. from the gap. Play the black in the same bag. I just punch it up near the centre bag like that. Jack will be happy with this. Yeah, he's making look these making these look pretty easy. Sign of a good player. So black for three one. Again, he's using all of the pocket. Scraping knuckles. That's a 3 1 lead. Jack came through his semi final against um, Neil Raybon. One of the top IPA professionals. I didn't see any of that match. Was, was it a good standard? Um, I, I was commentating at the time, so I can't. I can't say with any com confidence, but um, I'm told it was a good match. Guessing it was. Neil's a great player. Doesn't miss many. Did you hear about his marathon with <laughs> Andy Blurton? I did, yeah. He posted on on Facebook about it. I commented on it. It's quite funny. Well, Play got suspended. I think... <laughs> yeah, I think... Um, they're both ready for bed at two this morning. At one set all, and then they came back at half past nine this morning to finish the last set. Wow! Which I'm pretty certain was still going Fifth on at half past twelve. Are you joking? Yeah. <laughs> it was just one of those matches. Horrible games to lose there. Yeah. Jack's got that break working well. Yeah, got a fancy him taking yellows out. Screw the first one in. Screw up into the yellow. Might have a little bit too much angle actually. Morrison in the last 16. In yeah, that was 5-3, five, 5-3 three, five, three, I think. Yeah. Pretty good standard game. Then he beat Craig Marsh uh, in the quarters. Craig who, well, he lost the plot a bit in that match. I yeah. think that's the best thing I can... He struggled, a but I think he lost his head a little bit. Yeah, he was he was just thrashing balls around the table at the end. I think he'd just mentally gone. Never easy though when things are going wrong and you're not playing the best either. Could beat yourself up a bit too much. Yep. Nearly pop back out. Yeah, that's a, a good crisp pop though there from Jack. Then as we said he beat um <coughs> he beat Neil Rayborn. Uh, in straight sets to reach the final. Yep. Top into the black here. Should land on both yellows. Hopefully, just it's a half ball, really. That'll be perfect. Unless he plays it with any side, I think that white is going to hit the yellow near the black. Yeah, that's a natural angle. He's playing it with a bit of right hand side. Oh. 
but that's a problem with it and it full ball. Still, I think you can just cut it and come back across and play the yellow in the middle. Yeah. Black hole pass as well. Pretty routine really now. He just don't want to kiss this red on the cushion full in the face. You just slide past it. Perfect. Yeah. Don't want to run to the cushion. You might just drop this in and play the black in top. Or top it through and play the black in middle. Whichever one he prefers. Could even play it off the red, but that he'll do that. Looking like going 4 1. Looking down, Jack Sam. Sent over the bag. Frame. <coughs> Jack's going to be over the moon here. After looking like going 2 0 down, now 4 1 up. Yeah, we said at the time, time will tell how big a mistake that was. And it's proved to be um, pretty huge. I would say Jason's pulling his hair out, but he's not got much left. I'd say he's not got any left. <laughs> He's still keeping focused. Yeah, he's got plenty of experience. He's not a quitter. He knows this is a World Championship final. No place for um, spitting the toys out the pram. Definitely, yeah, he's too experienced for stuff like that. open for a quick break and dish but looks like he's struggling with his break a bit yeah it needs to Six get that going Jason, twist the break trailing four frames <coughs> four. time running he's using the braking cue is Jason first time I've seen him use one that was a good break the yellow's going in he'd have been unlucky if he didn't make a ball then he hit them well it's a good split Yellow's all open, just the black. <coughs> Guessing he'll go into the black off the yellow in the left middle. If he gets the right angle. You've got the uh, IPA tour coming up soon, aren't you, Kev? Yeah, the IPA Roadshow starts again in three weeks on Friday. Yeah, it should be a good event. <coughs> Yellow balls in play. We're um, absolutely overwhelmed at the um, entries this year. How many have you got? We've got too many. <laughs> got so it's always good. 163. We can't actually cater for 163, so we need to we need three to drop off. Um, so yeah, uh, fantastic response um, from the players to the tour this year. 30 seconds. I think it's fair to say the tour last year was the best one that we've done. Don't want to go behind it. He needed more pace in that one. So yeah, first stop Wales on the 13th of March. And we get everything out again and do it all over again. <laughs> oh, that cushion was dead. So far. Red balls in play. Obviously a total. That cushion made a funny noise then. Yeah, it didn't sound the best. 
sure Jack wouldn't mind. Straight into the danger zone. That's a good shot. I think the black goes in the middle. He's yellow is tied up as well, so just gotta take the reds out. That's not a very good shot. I have to cut the red <coughs> probably back in the right corner. I don't think he'll cut it in the middle. No. Jason will just be hoping that he gets 30 seconds. Another go in this step. Just Durant there in your picture. Another of the uh, rising up and coming players on the IPA tour. There he's missed that one. I'm not sure if he got a <coughs> kick on that. Yeah, he's had a little moan. Yeah. Must have had a kick. Fancy Jason to take these out. Just got to get right on the yellow on the rail. So probably take the one into the left centre, then the one in the top right. Run off the top rail and back down. Yeah. 30 seconds. for straight away. Yeah. Can't have had the angle. Top is through to leave the right angle off the yellow. That's what he's looking at now, what angle he needs. I might be tempted to screw it and then play the top yellow come back down. Played it well. Yeah, he can run that through. <coughs> Want to make sure he doesn't leave this on the cushion, though. Looks good. Just about got there. Top foot through. Yep, top it through between the reds. Perfect for the black. Seconds. He's gonna kiss the red. Oh dear. What a mistake by Jason. He's just not quite getting through the ball. Total's no. No. I suppose that's because Jack's kept him off the table for the last few frames. Yeah. Pretty easy finish if he don't pop the black for Jack. 30 yeah. seconds. Let's take the set. He's got a good chance of putting this though. No. Played that pretty bad. Golden opportunity for the first set for Jack. Yeah, he won't mess it up this time. No traffic. It's Jack's mum there and his cousin Dan. Are they good watchers? Yeah, they're very loyal supporters. That's his dad as well. Always come to support him in the big events. Right. Be feeling it at the moment. 
Yeah, his, his mum does. She feels every ball of it. She loves it. Looks perfect. And Jason's making it easy for him at the moment. Yeah, Jason really needs to up his game in the second set, otherwise it'll be all over. There we go, yeah. Right the first set to Jack. Dad's happy. Little nod of approval there from Dad. Yeah. So is there any way back for Jason? Can he get back into this match? Well, he is having his chances, but he's just not taking them. He had three good chances in that set. And he took one of them. Jack's got to be feeling on top of the moon at the moment. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> he knows he's one set, five frames away from the title. Left the venue, probably sarking himself up in the toilets. <coughs> So it's been a long five days here at the Magna. Yeah, I think everyone's looking forward to going home, <laughs> sleeping in their own bed. Yeah, started off pretty eventfully, or uneventfully, depending yeah, which way you went to look at it. It's run really well, I think, from after what happened on the first day. Done a great job, really. Yeah, it's been a lot of hard work uh, from a lot of people. I think whilst I've got the opportunity to like to say a few thank yous. Um, firstly, Ross McInnes. Um, he for loaning us the use of his tables. So thanks a lot, Ross. Um, Riley's for again uh, loaning us the use of their tables. Uh, John Smith in uh, Jackpot Leisure in Essex for the work he did and in helping us with the uh, recoverings that we had to do. Uh, the top table team who've worked <laughs> tirelessly. Yeah, long hours. Yeah, tirelessly since Sunday, Monday. Um, you know, having to get the tables from all ends of England and getting them all in, in some sort of shape and ready to play on, uh, well, it turned out to be the Thursday. Home scaffolding. Well, the scaffolding's come in for a lot of comments, but um, it's done its job. It's held the lights up, which Second is what it's meant set. to do. Jason twist yeah. the break. I'm sure these two will be happy that it's been here. First He's in the final. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, a lot of people. Um, too many to thank and, and to name, really. But they know who they are. And um, <coughs> it would have been very easy to cancel this event with all the problems that we had. But we've stuck it out. We've done it. Open table. And um, roll on next year. I think Jack will play the plant here. Yellow onto red. We'll open the frame right up. And next year we'll hook to up the prize money again. The winner's prize went up 20% this year. And we'll be looking to do exactly the same next year. Yeah, it's only getting bigger and better, to be fair. Yeah. And we're not going to stop until we make it bigger and better. Good shot. Red balls in play. Punch the red in and <coughs> cannon to the yellow. Another dry break by Jason in this frame, but he hit him well, to be fair. It's just bad luck that he's not made a ball. Yeah. Can be a cool game. And that can be the difference between having your name on the trophy. Especially at this level. You dry break, you're going to get beat. 
shot. Also need to uh, give a little mention to our sponsors, of course. Uh, one of particularly that I know is listening. Um, so Infractus, thank you for their support for the seniors. Uh, hopefully we'll be um, doing a little bit more with them next year. And um, Riley's, of course, who've helped, helped support us with the tables. 30 seconds. But, um, it's been a, a big effort, big effort to put an event like this on. And um, Yeah, it's hard to do it without the sponsors. Same for the players as well. <coughs> I'm sure Jack will be fancy his sponsors after Corn Exchange Sports Blind I'll be sponsoring and myself. Very good club, help us out a lot. It's not perfect here. that as well. He's going to be kicking himself. Going to have to play the double and scrub up. Big shot. I'm not even sure if you can if you can screw to get on that red. Yeah, you can. Double, can he? Yeah. Seconds. It's top, isn't it? Run it through, yeah. That's close. Very good shot by Jack. Get out of jail shot there. Just get a good position on the black now. Be a good clearance. I think he's feeling pretty invincible. Looks like he's topping it off two cushions. I'd be half tempted to just stun it, to be honest. Leave yourself a shot. 30 seconds. I think he thinks he can probably do anything and he's going to pot it. Run it through with top right hand side. Like that. Yeah, virtually the same as stunning it, really. Just left himself a shot. He'll be happy with that. So a tricky black. Oh, I'll step my neck out and says he makes it. <laughs> I hope he does. <laughs> well. Yellow ball's in play. He's not happy with that. But Joe, we didn't put your mortgage on it. <laughs> Looks happy as ever. Gonna be after missing that. It wasn't easy, even for someone in, in top form. No, it's very hard black. We just get used to them putting these things. We think they're gonna put everything all the time. Yeah. <coughs> so this is a a way in for Jason in back into this match. So finish has got to make. Yeah, absolutely. Many opportunities in the set format. You can't keep missing. She just left that a little thin. I think you can top it in with a little bit of right side and play it like a shot to nothing. Fancy him to get, but he has missed a couple down the rail earlier. He's played it exactly like I said. Yeah. Played it too well. The yellow just, passes. Is that just run an extra inch? No, it's getting down straight away. Oh, 
good chat. Yeah, it was only just. This could be Jason's way back in the game. That's the start. Was that on his own break? I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah, he dry broke in that frame. Mm. So at least he's held his serve. That's yeah. all he needs to do with this set. Yeah. If he keeps so. breaking dry though, it's going to be soon game over. Because Jack ain't coming up dry very often. Not with that sledgehammer break now. I practice him quite a lot and his, his break's so good, so hard to beat because of it. Just. Obviously, he's a good player as well, not just a good breaker. <laughs> yeah, Second he's frame, he's got an Jack excellent all round break. game. Yeah, he's Probably solid. One frame to nil. Be hoping for a big break. He had a good teacher in his early years. Although he wouldn't have taught him to break like that. Is Jack back in the Derby area? Or is he still in Scotland? Or he's uh, he's recently moved back to Derby. Is he? Yeah, a couple of months. Had a little spell in Scotland. Yeah, I think he was there for about a year, maybe a year and a half. It's a bit miss, wide. Miss that. Open table. So Jason Twist. Got to capitalise on, particularly on uh, Jack's break. I didn't even realise Jason was back playing until I seen him here this week, and Mark Farnsworth as well. Yeah, it's good to see Mark back. I watched the match with Mark seconds. and um, John McAllister. That was an excellent match. John McAllister played really well. Yeah, I watched quite a bit of that. John was very good. Yeah. Mark struggled with his break, but John yeah. punished him. He, put his, he put, took some finishing out, though, absolutely. Top draw. Balls in play. Yeah, good. Up and coming player, John. He's only 21, I think. Is he? Yeah. New professional. Yeah. Last year. I don't think Jason will be up with that cannon. Landed a bit awkward. I think he'll play the um, stun into the red on the left, next to his yellow. And that's what he's lining up now. You don't want to clip the black first? No. Or go through the gap. <laughs> Fraught with danger. He's played it where well, he's got the black. Fed the black. Bad shot again from Jason. I don't really know if he's got a shot here. As he shallow passes into the middle. I think the yellow on the right does, the bottom yellow. He needs to pull out a Jason Twist special now. Yeah. Which has now been rephrased to a Craig Lakin special. <laughs> He's going to need some good queuing. Screw it straight back. He's only got a small window to put that white in. Seconds. It, 
he could possibly top it through, play the other and bottom. Be guaranteed he shot that way. Playing the other yellow. This ain't he's easy. He's taking the harder pot to try and get better position. Oh, he's not got through that at all. Unless it goes in the middle. It must do. Surely he wouldn't have played it like that otherwise. Yeah, he's getting straight down. This white's going close to the corner bag. <coughs> Looks tight on the camera, though, does it? Yeah, it's a thin tickle. Where's the white? off. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think Jason was hoping to hit the knuckle. Hoping for anything, I think. Well, enough. Three shots, one visit. Red ball's in play. Pretty simple finish now for Jack. He's just not quite hit his straps in this final. Little nod of the head. Not happy with that. Frame again here for Jack, same as last set. Went one nil down and nicked the second frame. Yeah, Jason had a chance of two nil in the first set. Came back to haunt him. Is it going to be deja vu? Perfect. Black now for one all. Not easy these straight ones ain't. Like one of them for the title, that's a certain. <laughs> so another frame that, that got away from Jason. He <laughs> still seems like pretty composed. Not phasing him at all. I think it was he must be disappointed though, I mean, he's, there's at least three frames that uh, he's gifted to Jack. Yeah, if it was me, I'd been chucking my arms up, slamming my cue, just wrecking the place. I'm the good-looking one. <laughs> I've got age on my side. You certainly have. <laughs> Third frame, Jason, twist to break. One frame all. Just in case you're wondering what the uh, face behind the microphone was, lo was like. You could have had a shave. <laughs> Can't afford a razor. <laughs> Needed to win this event. Well, they gold-plated your razors, aren't they? <laughs> Story of the match so far for Jason. Dry from the break. Seems like quite a few players have struggled with a break against Jack. I've seen uh, Neil Rayburn post on Facebook saying that he had quite a lot of dry breaks. Maybe this is just his year. It's written in the stars. A song there somewhere. <coughs> Maybe it is. About to find out. Yeah. Oh, well, he's missed that one. Open table. 
go with it to a certain extent, but I don't think there's any problem in him playing a plant onto the plant, playing a ball onto the plant. To I think he'll play the yellow on the right middle. Get on the bad yellow. Yeah, well, oh, could play the red. He's filled us both again. That's the one I said. Might top into the black here, open up the yellow in the middle of the table. Like one of my shots. <laughs> Bit of work to do, but these are on. I think Jack will be going for him. What he's doing is just giving Jack table time, isn't he? Just giving him confidence. Yeah. Uh, even however hard the finish is, he's just giving him that confidence to go for them. Yeah, Jack's played a good shot there. Open up the red on the black spot. and if you're playing well and you're feeling confident you're getting table time you'll you'll go for anything yeah of course yeah. you think Maybe. you can take the world on yeah don't think you'll ever miss could be tempted to take this off the yellow I think he'll run it in come behind play the in the top right bag Looks perfect angle. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. One good shot on. Should be frame over. Use a black as a blocker here, drop in. It's going exactly the same way as last set. Yep. I'm sure if Jason does lose his match, it will be mad, but he's got to be happy with coming back and getting to the final. First attempt in a long time. Still a great achievement. It is with this field. Yeah, there's loads of good players. He's over on that. Though, yeah. Good queuing required. Yeah, there he goes. Frame. He can sense it. I think we might see a bit of emotion out of Jack soon. He's got his angry eyes on. He got his angry own. eyes. Sets following a similar pattern to the last set. Yeah. Jack's going to be sat on his seat happy. This is break now as well. If he gets a broken dish, opens up another gap. Can Jason stop the rot? He's having his chances, just not taking them. Fourth frame. Jack Whelan to break, leading two frames to one. Time running. The praying to make a ball. Yeah, he's pretty much pouring the ball every break. First try, I think. But not this time. Open time. This is usually the case. Not that bad of a leave either, to prefer. Yeah. 
little ironic grin from Jason. He's probably thinking exactly the same thing as what we were. <laughs> yeah. Thinking, well, why can't they just leave me rollings? <laughs> I get to see it every day. <laughs> At least he only sees it now <laughs> for the final. So he's forced into reds. It's been a bit unfortunate there. Red ball's in play. the boat out a bit now to keep up with Jack. Play the red onto the yellow and snooker him. Opens the reds up. Unless you can pass it in the middle. But be brave. Looks all right. If he's covered the yellow on the right hand side. Just want to say um, hello and au revoir to our la French competitors this weekend. There's certainly a name that we we'll, will be looking out for in the future. Uh, certainly the, the star of the show for a lot of people has been uh, Roger de Mortier who's um, pulled out some absolutely fantastic performances. Yeah, I've not seen him play but he's meant to be a very good player. Yeah, he's he's been a, a breath of fresh air. And um, yeah, hope well we we'll see him again next year. Didn't quite work for him in the final of the seniors, but he's picked some very good players uh, yeah. this week and handed it out some some good beating. Yeah, he had some very good results in the main event as well. Yeah. Thirty seconds. Anyone that can beat Ollie Bale six nil and. Ollie didn't pot a ball. Yeah, obviously a very good player. Good to see Ollie Bear back playing as well. First time I've seen him in a long time. Yeah. Well, he's back on the tour, so we've seen a lot more of him. He's played a few money games recently as well, I think. Yeah. He's landed a bit straight on this one. A little bit careless. Yeah, I'm not sure if he can get out. Play it with check side. There's a side. Not far enough. Unless it goes into the corner, he can screw up and down. It's all becoming just a little bit difficult. Looking at cutting it and cannon into the ball. I think I'll definitely be playing it in bottom if it goes. It's tight. 30 seconds. Playing it in the middle. He wants to kiss onto this yellow. Yeah, it was mighty thin. He was looking to arc the white ball, wasn't he, onto the... Yeah, just onto the yellow. kick it out and then just two. <coughs> another big frame again in the match. If Jack wins it, gets another gap, 3-1. It's going to be difficult to see how we can stop this Jack wheeling. Seconds. Tidal wave. Yeah, it's it's not looking promising for him. 
Is Jason on the RPA tour this year? He is, yeah. Where's wow. that red? He's got what a hit. flute. He's got a shot. Can he see an edge? That. If in doubt. <laughs> if he pots this, Jack's going to have a few more grey hairs. He may be taking a toilet visit. He's going to be absolutely spewing if he pots this. Mel's just looking to see if it's a total. Maybe it's total. I thought he could clip it. Sure, he can hit that. It's not a total. It's not no. a total. There is an edge. He's going to pot it. <laughs> it won't be short of pace, that's for certain. Big shot. He's floated. He's it. Nice. Sure, Jout's on the edge of his seat then. <laughs> Making sure. No heroics. Yeah, I thought he might have gone then. <coughs> I suppose he needs to guarantee the frame. Tough it from here. It's hard to find the way <laughs> back round to the black. Yeah. Need a sat nav for this one. <laughs> here we go. There's something. This will be some exhibition shot. 30 seconds. I don't even know what he tried oh. to play. I think he tried to hit the cushion and Lift. spin it back up with right hand side and clip it in. Maybe. <laughs> Only he knows. <laughs> but yeah, again, it's. He's not played that well. It needs to run. It's careless. I'm surprised not just bounce that out in the middle of the table. Point this planet down the rail. Still fancying to make the finish e easy enough. Got a nice angle now. Yeah, we'll just try and bump this top yellow. Try and full ball it, stand the other one. Making our work of it. He might play the plant. He's looking at it. Changed his mind. Just a couple of slack shots there, probably because the balls were that easy. He's probably just um, thirty seconds. Yeah, might be a little bit of tension. Just Big frame for Jack. This is. If he wins his frame, he'll probably go on to win it. If he loses it, anything can happen. Another bad shot there. Yeah, it's just. Um, he's forcing himself to take the plant. <coughs> yeah, I think he's going to play the plant here. I wouldn't leave it till last. I think he's playing the snooker here. Well. It looks like he's playing the plant. He's playing the snooker, isn't he? I don't know. He's playing the snooker. Oh, that's a bad it. shot. I think he just lost his way a little bit, I think, there, didn't he, in that finish? He just yeah, from the first shot, it's just out mm. of position every shot. that Jason's got here that he sh should never have had. Can he cut that in? Is I don't think way? so. Or is it looking at back double cushion? Might be looking come off the back rail. Kick it in. I think he can clip that. It went 
for that shot. Oh, I just didn't quite make it. It's been quite fortunate, really. Yeah. Still probably going to lose the frame, but... Good shot. Yeah. Leaving the white there just means Jason's really got he can't even have a thrash. No. He might be able to clip off it then. Come off side rail, side rail up to the top. Can't really see anything else. Thirty seconds. It's a good white. You'd like probably that to run another inch. It's as good as you probably could have got. Big shot now for Jack. Would you top it through and play for the other in <coughs> middle? Yeah. He's bang on straight. Yeah. You can just stroke this in. No, easy it's pretty, it's pretty risk free, to be honest. Well, I wouldn't like to leave Jason the shot on the block. But I know what you mean. Cued that well. Yeah. Good shot. Again, he's just got to. Leave a fine cut on the block. Yeah. Nothing silly. He's queuing like Zorro at the moment, so um, I don't think any of these two balls hold any uh, fears for him. Good shot. Everything's hitting the middle of the bag. <coughs> yeah, I don't think it can go in off either. No. There he goes. Frame. Three one. Off he goes. It's the Jack Whelan show. Doesn't seem to be anything that Jason can do to stop. Stop the momentum. No, it's going exactly the same way as the last set. Needs a breaking dish now. Like you said earlier, Craig, a fa fantastic achievement for him to get to the final. <coughs> Definitely. Not many players can have so long out, come back and get to the final of a World Champs. Yep. <coughs> and he's beat top players to get there. No yeah. one can say he's had an easy draw. Well, I think from the last 32, everyone was a very good player. Yep. 64, there's a few players that you wouldn't mind drawing but after that everyone's good every match is hard there's Jason's <coughs> seniors trophy using it as a cup holder yeah that's nice new trophy that he's just abusing <laughs> so thank our trophy sponsors Woods Trophies based in Bradford and Huddersfield Chris, if you're watching, speak to you soon. <laughs> Supplied us some great trophies this year. Got brand new trophies for the ladies and the seniors and the doubles winners. <coughs> Fifth frame, Jason Twister break. <coughs> Trailing three frames to one. Also, I want to thank uh, Aramith for their continued support in providing us with the um, Pro Cup balls. Which everyone seems to be using these days now. Yeah, every tournament you go to, they use these balls now. Another dry break. Try again. And they're gone. The table. Jack ain't missing these. Yeah, just when he needed it most, the break has deserted him. Yep. It's 
no red balls, so all he's got to do is keep it simple. Don't do anything stupid, but that's what Jack's got at. Yep. Never really makes any stupid mistakes. His mum's there in the audience. Yeah. Her heart <coughs> must be. She'll be praying. Going ten till a dozen. Definitely. As he gets closer to the uh, that magical number. She'll be a little bit emotional, I think, if he wins it. Mean a lot to him. Just what's the sort of general feeling about this tournament, Craig? I mean, it's a new tournament. It's only the second year that we've we've run a, a World Championships, is it? You know, do the players hold it in high regard? Yeah, I think I think it's very good. I think it's only going to get bigger. The standards only going to get better. It's always a risk when you bring a, a new big event into the into the fray. Of course it is. You just you never know what runners you're going to get. It's just a big gamble, isn't it? Yeah. He's not played that one. I think you probably can just use that yeah. yellow to hold. Yeah, drop the red and run onto the yellow. One of the four ball contact then. Got half ball. Give it an extra few seconds, make sure. Very big shot. Yeah. <coughs> Put it on with the white off the rail. Everything's just falling into place nicely for Jack. Yeah. He's playing well, but he's getting those little rubs that you need as well. Yeah, it's just top it through now, playing the black and the opposite back. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yellow balls in play. What's happened there? I don't know what he's done there. Did he miss Q? I don't know. That space didn't cha change a bit. He's just got to suffer a little bit more. 30 seconds. Are you a good watcher, Craig? You know, if your best friend's playing, you've got money on, are you a good watcher or are you one that likes to hide behind the pillows? <laughs> no, I support Jack in all of his games. Normally caught out and then have a few drinks and then get a bit crazy. <laughs> Same as everyone else. He's got a big following though, Jack has for his money games. Yeah. In Derby, they absolutely love it. That's a nice shot. It's not a bad leave. Keeping Jason under pressure. Yep. Seconds. He's just going to leave this white there just to make sure it doesn't leave Jack anything, but there's <coughs> always a shot somewhere. I'll be able to come off the side rail and keep yep. the red in. Yep. Off flick off and snook him, hopefully. He needs to get this touch in. Not quite. So advantage Jason in this one. He's got to win this one, hasn't he? He can't. Isn't there's no coming back from far one down, is there? No, definitely not.
30 seconds. Okay, this is a shot to nothing. Snook him if he misses it. Shot. He's still got to keep positive though, Jason, hasn't he? You can't just get into a negative mindset. He's got to keep yeah. keep playing the right shots and keep being positive. Played a good shot there. If the finish is on, he's got to go for it. Okay. Not just... Jack's got a chance here. It's not, it's not bad. Of, of a leaf. He'll take that. Oh. <coughs> Plans in the career. So I think next time Jason's got to go for the finish. Total snooker. Yeah, he's keeps giving Jack chances at a whack. Where's it going? Yeah. Flick off the black and in. <laughs> that's, that's not a bad leave again. <laughs> Little smirk from Jack. Still got a fancy Jason getting them, but yeah, there's more pressure on this one though into the centre than there was. Made it that a little bit harder. Jason will be thinking of all the places to leave me. 30 seconds. You'll still want to get on them. Surprise is that shot. Tight. Well, you can certainly see it. You can see on that angle there. Can he swerve it? Tough shot. Swerve this and then come round on two cushions. The black into the same. Unlucky. It's not far off uh, Not a bad leave again. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's relentless. Oh, Jason's got to go at some point. He can't keep snookering. The match will be suspended. <laughs> I think he just wants an opportunity and then They've all been on each time though. Yeah. He, he could have gone the last time, couldn't he? But he was committed to that one in the middle. Seconds. If he missed it then um he was leaving Jack in. Yeah. So he, fair enough he played the percentage. Taking this on in the middle. Yeah. No, another snooker. Jack's going to flute this in a minute. Well, you can see that middle bag on the left looking large. <coughs> top, top Here we go. Hold on tight. Okay, this is the chance now. <coughs> yes. Jack just keeps leaving it a little bit awkward. Yeah. Still, Jason should get him, but he's got to go now, surely. Red's in a safe position as well. He's got to keep that positive mindset. It's so important. Well, he's not very positive because he keeps snookering him. Yeah, I think as long as he goes for them now, I think that's that's the right thing. Maybe screw into the yellow. Wow. Jack's got a chance here. Red might go off the yellow and middle maybe. Mum looks on. Total snooker.
I don't even think Jason can, man, if he flukes this, because he snooked him so many times. Well, the red's about safe, so I'm just guessing he's going to be going for these. Yeah, absolutely. Massive frame for Jason, this keeps him in the match. Seconds. Don't know if he's gone too far, but it's okay. He's just gonna want to put this yellow and bump the black out. There he goes. He's back in it. Watch is still alive. The next frame becomes the biggest frame of the match so far. Yeah. Sixth frame, Jack Whelan to break, leading three frames to two, time running. Try break there from Jack. Not the best to split so so <laughs> sure Jason will get control of the frame. Kev's just left the commentary box for a minute. Oh, here he is. This will be a new champion this year, as Gareth Potts won it last year, it's not here. I'm surprised it's not. Open table. Pot of the ball and touch with control of the frame. Who brought you on this one then, uh, Craig? Jack Dry Brown. Try it again? Yeah. It's two on the trot. Good job. Been a little bit unlucky. Shot. 
shot. Got his cousin here, Dan Lambert, looking up to the gods, praying. <coughs> little smile from him. One of Jack's biggest fans. Supports him all over the country. Is he going to pull out yellow? That's a tight gap. They could take it in the top right. Yeah. Leave it to his last <coughs> point. playing on his mind. Do you, do you think it puts you off, Kev, when you're playing? You ref an ounce and thirty seconds? No, not really. I think I think what helps with black ball rules is that you're already in that attacking mindset anyway. Yeah. So a, a lot of the times the shots are decided for you. Yeah. Um you know sometimes with world rules if you're getting into a bit of a you know, tactical uh, battle. Yeah, it can, it can, plan it can have an impact, but I, I think the impact is minimised with black ball rules. I really do. One good shot now from Jack. You can see that yellow. I don't think it goes in the middle. No, it goes in both top bags. So he's got a big area to play in. Just give yourself a shot. Just and the right in between. between. <laughs> it's pretty unlucky. One big shot now for Jack. I think I'll be favouring top left. Yeah, stunning to the red. Shot could uh, he's looking top right. Natural angle for the white to come out for the black. <coughs> Thirty Probably seconds. The shot on the match. This. You can hear a pin drop in here. It's on its way. That's it's a great, great shot. shot. Absolutely great shot. The crowd love that one. What a big great. finish. Big finish. That was a great finish by Jack. Needed that. One frame away from the title of yeah. 2015 IPA World Champion. I think of all the drinks he could buy me as well when he wins. <laughs> Can't wait. I don't think that's going through his mind right this minute, Craig. Maybe, yeah, maybe when you remind him, it might. Maybe not, not just yet. Yeah, to me that if you miss out, then I think Jason might have gone favourite to win the set. For the chances that Jack would have missed it turned out to be a great shot. Yeah. Jason's break. Miserable than so far. He knows. That was small to someone. Yeah. Been waiting for this moment a long time. Seventh frame. Just be praying for a chance now break. in the next three frames. Driving four frames to two. Time running. What's the response from the two time world champion? Oh, that was unlucky. Okay, he's trying right again. Right. That was very Open unlucky. Table. Cries from the audience. Mum's on, her, mum's on her feet. Yeah, the lot's going up. Dad's remaining calm, though, as dads do. Yeah. Jim's the most calmest person you'll ever meet. No emotion. <coughs> yeah, deep breath, Mum. 
pin this red in and I'm going to bump into these two. Wow. Open table. Mom's not happy. Yeah, she's going to tell him off about that one when he gets in. Little smirk from Jack over at me. Doesn't want to get overconfident. I think it's because like, he's just missed a good chance. But I'm sure he'll get another. 30 seconds. Well, he's guaranteed at least one chance because he's to break next. Jason's got to be taking these out. Yeah. Yellow balls in. I'm surprised it's all yellows, to be honest. But well, everyone sees the game different. Yeah, I would have thought reds, but. Maybe he just fancy the challenge. Can't fault him. One of Jack's good friends, Peter, there, travelled up from Derby to spot him. Always in the corner. Since when they used to go to Burger King when they was 11. Good shot. It's just a little bit under. But you can cut the other in the middle of the big bag and you get the black out. It's pretty easy shot on the other, really. Nothing is easy when you're staring down defeat. Good shot. Let's play that well. Not good. Then again. Could be a big bag double for the black. <coughs> I see you've got the same team as. They used at the Blue Bell Open <coughs> tournament that I played the other week, and he just noticed that. But the cameras. Oh yeah, yeah. And we introduced them to. You did. Yeah, because they um, niche television were bringing you the pictures. Yep. Uh, Work with us on, on the tour. Yeah, the very good team. Yeah. Good at the job. Excellent quality uh, streaming brought to you live here. You enjoy playing in the Blue Bell, Craig? Uh, I did, yeah. It was, it was a very good event. Just, I really didn't perform in the tournament. I, I got to the final, but I didn't play well up to the final. And then, in the final, I played well and lost. So, it was quite annoying, but <laughs> lost to Jack. Yeah. Jason needs to get this one right. Yeah. Looking at leaving the cross double for Big Bag. Just don't um, under it. Up. It's just about got there, I think. Strange, you didn't line up that way, but it looks perfect. This black to keep him in the competition. Yep. Well, there it goes, that's a great shot. Frame. Excellent clearance from Jason, showing his class. Yep. Jack's break. How much would he love to go out of a breaking dish? Just drop the sledgehammer. <laughs> this is what it's boiling down to. Yeah. 
I'm going to predict that he breaks some dishes, jumps on the table and pulls a light stand and goes crazy. That's my prediction. Right. <laughs> I'll be getting a bill. <laughs> I think that's what would be running through my head if I was on the hill for the world champs. To make sure to check out public liability insurance then if you're yeah, in the final. Yeah, ever, ever get to the final. <laughs> Jack will just be praying that his brain don't let him down now. Probably the biggest swimmer pool he's ever played now. Here he comes. Yeah, we're getting that sledgehammer out, as you say. Yeah, it is the sledgehammer. So here we go. Craig's called it. Breaking dish and a jump on the table. Eighth frame, Jack Wilden to break. Leading four frames to three. Yeah, the referee Mel Harley called the score. So here we go. Is this the start of the. Needs to make a ball. There it is. There's a ball in. There's work to do. There is. That's the first report. He's got a shot. It's not easy. If he plays the red and tops into the black, he's ending it all up for yellows. Good shot. Red ball's in play. Right, now game gone. This is it, the strike for home. Probably gonna have to leave himself a plant. Yeah, definitely. It's not an easy shot. Jason, Jason, just be hoping that he gets another shot. Thirty seconds. Probably leave the room at the black spot till a bit later. Could use that to get on the black. Just stun up the table now. Leave yourself a shot on the plant. This is the big shot. He's short. I don't. I don't even think he played for the plant in that shot. To be honest, no, I think no. he played for the white where it is. I thought he might have played it. Come off the cushion to try and hit that second yellow. Possibly, yeah. With the centre back. You just want to get himself a shot at the plant here. He's not blind out. Really surprised by that. 30 seconds. What's he playing? Really surprised by his shot choice here. So red going off the yellow in the centre. Yeah, but it's going to be hard to get onto the black. We'll soon see. Gaps. I'm guessing he's just going to roll it and then Probably leave cut on the black. Bring the white to somewhere near the black spot. Blue leave spot. A clip. You mean? No, the black. Can you run this through? Like that. Why is that red? Oh. Go in. Oh, he's That's been so away. unlucky. <sighs> That's brutal. Jack can't believe it. <laughs> Jack looks sensible to Jason. Has a little laugh. 
least you've seen the funny side to it. But inside it'll be absolutely fuming. That's really unlucky. I didn't think he could play it that hard and get down like you said. But if he did get on the black spot, he'd have had a shot. 30 seconds. Yeah. In middle. Yeah. Yellow ball's in play. Okay, Jason Twist, this is your chance to get back in. Thirty seconds. Well, played well, shot to nothing, but it gives Jack a whack at it, and his yellow's gone safe. If I was Jack, I'd be whacking this, get it moving. Total snooker. Yeah. Can he win the world title on a fluke? Oh god, Jack. Well, Don't miss the black ball. That's not bad leaf. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's luck never runs out. No bedtime story for Jack tonight. If he keeps playing shots like that. Yeah, I think... Well, I don't know what he's done out. I'm surprised he's missed it. Tricky little finish for Jason. That's, a shot. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. He's been quite fortunate there. to the wire in this second set. Got a fancy in candies and he'll be his break of the decider as well. <coughs> it'll be Jason's dry break in the decider, is that what you said? Well, judging by the rest of his breaks, probably. Screwed that. Still should get him, but it's a little bit more distance between the white and the black. Would have been easy to find out. There it goes. Well done, Jason Twist. Four four. This edge of your seat stuff. If I was Jason, I'd just snap that breaking cue. Because it ain't working. You break with his normal cue. He's just going to be praying for a ball now. Be a massive chance to get back in this game. From nowhere? Yeah, definitely. frame we will either have a new world champion or we'll be heading into a deciding set 
<coughs> Ninth frame, Jason twist to break, four frames all. Looks like he moved his wife uh, a little bit for his break. He probably doesn't know where to try. It's a good smash. There's a yellow in. There's another yellow in. There's a red in. His first shot's a little tricky though. Yeah, he's got a very tough shot. Cut the red in the corner and develop the red. Jack's just going to be sat in his seat praying for a chance. Red too hard because he'll push the red to a safe place. Yeah, he just needs to drop onto it. There we go. This is a big shot. It's in. Good shot. That's an excellent shot. Run around the red a little bit too far. Yep. He might be able to land on it now after red in the middle. That's what he's looking at. I'm not sure if he'd leave that till last. Uh, uh, possibly, yeah, for the black, but I'd rather get it out of the way now, if we can get on it. Maybe leave the red over the mid until the second last ball. Play 30 seconds. Hands. That's what he's doing. Yeah, he's going for the harder shot. On the middle a little bit, but should be alright. Yeah, just about got there. It's looking like one set all. It's alright. Play the red in the top bag. Red in the middle, red in the bottom. Easy peasy. Yeah, it's easy in the commentary box. I still think he's, he wants to leave this one till last. Yeah, no, in the positions in a wood. <coughs> Don't want to overscrew this and catch the yellow. Wow, he's, he's on nothing. He's not, he's not got it at all. I can't believe how bad he's played that. He's going to be kicking himself. That was the problem with taking that red when it wasn't the last ball. Yep. Like you pointed out. What? Unless you can play the red and top back. Seconds. This is a bit of great shot. Big shot. Could be his last shot. He's nope. missed it. There we go, Jack Whelan. Yellow ball's in play. Round the bad ball. Nothing stupid now, Jack. This is your chance for glory to cement his name in history. And be crowned the 2015 IPA World Champion. <coughs> to develop these or can he play behind them do you think I think he needs to develop them yep wow oh, that's a twist in the tail he's having some bad luck touching ball touching ball oh, right helps him ball there. if he flicks the back the back yellow then then it's match over I think he needs to just roll off the side of the back behind the yellow. Should make that shot. Just leave the white where it is now. That's 
where I'd like to be. 30 seconds. So do you think he's better off coming side cushion then or, or bottom cushion? Either way really, side rail is closer isn't it? Easier. But is that the harder shot? Possibly. Yeah, it's going bottom. It's got a bit more margin for error that way. That's a very good shot. Great shot. <coughs> that could be the match winner. Barring any flukes or massive bits of luck. Jason needs a miracle. I don't think he could have placed that one any better with his hand, to be honest. <coughs> yeah, nice touch. Could have been very twitchy with the circumstances. Yeah, absolutely. <coughs> 30 seconds. He's going using the jaws. Oh, that's a great that's shot. That's a very good shot. Right, Jack. Here's your chance. Cue one ball then. The other one got a medal, so he's, he's got to stun it in. Really hard shot. I don't know if he's on this. Must be tight. The yellow must have gone in middle. Looks for me that it doesn't. Yeah. Have a look now. No, he can't pot the red. He's got a play pet side on it. Tough shot. <coughs> 30 seconds. You might be tempted to come side cushion then and hit the one on the rail full in the face if you can't put it. He's going for it. He thinks he can get it. Play the safety. Bad shot. Not sure about that one. <laughs> one big shot by Jack. Screw this on. <coughs> Got a kiss. One delicate little stun shot. Yeah, into Come on, the Joe. corner. Bias commentator. Perfect. Good shot. This is it, folks. Might double it for the crowd. History. If you had it about me, would. Good shot. Here we go. Go on, lad. His mum's getting emotional. There it goes. Well done, Jack Whelan. Your 2015 world champion. Excellent achievement. Oh, we'll just do a quick presentation ceremony. Thanks a lot for your time Jack in the box, Craig. The Appreciate it. Cheers, mate. Good to have you. Five, one, or me. Five, Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Just witnessed an absolutely fantastic final, and um, congratulations to both players. So let's hear it for Jack Whelan and Jason Twist.
As always at these events, there has to be a runner-up, and um, you know he's he's won two of these crowns already. He came so close, but unlucky to Jason Twist. A fantastic achievement there from Jason, and just reminding everyone what a fantastic player he is. But today it's Jack Whelan's day. He's, he's taking on the doubles crown with his partner Clint Ianson, and now he's taking the big one. So, ladies and gentlemen, round of applause from Derbyshire, Jack Whelan. So that concludes the action here from uh, the Magna Centre in Rotherham. We hope you enjoyed the coverage. Um, it's been pretty spectacular for the last five days. And um, hope to see you again at the IPA Tour in Wales next month. Thanks a lot for joining us. It's a spectacular action. And uh, I'm here in the winner's circle with the main man. Double winner, Jack Whelan. Jack, singles winner. How does it feel? I can't. Honestly, I can't tell you what it means. It's, it's just unbelievable. You played absolutely fantastic all week. Um, you know, you fully deserved the title, but Jason, you know, he pushed you all the way, didn't he? Yeah, I, um, the, sec the first set I won comfortably. I played good first set. The second set, I was 3 1 up and I'd miscued on my last ball. Easy. We, you could never, ever not get them to go 4 1. And I'm thinking, well, you know, we, as a player yourself, you know what it goes through your head when. 3-2, three, 3-0, three, or you're thinking, oh no, please don't. And then in the, I just wanted it over with as soon as possible. I just, I, I don't think I'd be able to win if it went to a deciding set after what happened. So what was going through your mind on that last black? The black wasn't my worry. It was, <laughs> believe it or not, it was a shot bef the two shots before, the one that I've got down the rail to stun out for the one in the middle. As soon as I got on the one in the middle, I knew that was it. But it was that the close one down the rail that that was the shot that I knew I'd won after that. So you've won a lot of money matches in the past. You know, how does this how does this compare to to, to those? It, this means everything. It's not nothing. The money you can spend, but I've got this now. Well, absolutely, fully deserved, Jack. Well done to you. Uh, not only winning that, winning the doubles as well. Um, you know, absolutely fantastic achievement. May never be done again. Um, hopefully, we'll see you back next year defending your title. Thank you very much. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs>